shit, even now nah, I was trying to think because like I was trying to think like what other movies like some serious ass movies or some comedies that had that shit. Nah, that shit. The, the, Singing. Yeah, it's, musicals is just a genre, right? That's a genre. That shit. It should be. I hope yeah, they not spill it over. Everything. Keep that Ooh. shit where it's at. You fuck up the whole movie with that. Keeping shit where it's at, bro. I forgot about this shit. Illinois. Apparently, Ooh. you seen that shit? Yeah. Bro, I Illinois starting twenty twenty three. The motherfucking purge type shit. Now I ain't saying like the purge, but there's cl- a li- clickbait. The purge in Illinois. <laughs> there's a list. Yeah, the clip is definitely gonna be called. It. <laughs> there's a list of crimes that's gonna be in front of my face of shit that is not detainable, oh, I, I, like I, I aggravated assault and all type of shit. And he gonna look it up. I'm gonna talk about. So there's a mm-hmm. bunch of crimes that you would normally like. You would call in and be like, all right, I need help. Like this dude is out there. X, Y, Z, and the cops will pull up so they can, like, all right, let me hurry up and get there to save this person. For whatever reason, the city that was just named the um the most beautiful city is deciding. You just told me that shit, yeah. too. Yeah, well, the capital of that state is deciding to come out with this law that makes non-detainable offenses, which my boy is about to provide for y'all. All right, starting first. Okay, so uh, among that list of non-detainable offenses is going to be aggravated battery, Aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary, drug-induced homicide, intimidation, <laughs> I'm intimidated, <laughs> kidnapping, wow, robbery, a robbery, second-degree murder, and then threatening a public official. Now, that is, you look at that, and it's like non-detainable. What the fuck that mean? It's, it's pretty much saying, okay, like, they're, just because you say, hey, so-and-so did, did this, well, you know, wait till the court figures it out, and then from there you're gonna get sentenced. But we're not gonna detain them in incidents until we actually know. So it's like, you know, you kind of see what I'm saying. Like, can you explain to them why that's so dangerous? Just pick any pick any and, crime and just say why it's dangerous for somebody who did okay. that, that crime to be out. Let's go with the obvious: second degree murder, right? <laughs> Just the name alone, you got murder. I don't know exactly what second degree is. I know first degree is like the highest offense. Yeah, like the one or well, premeditated murder. Does that fall into the first Ooh, degree? Or is it I, yeah, different? see, I don't know. All right, yeah, well, murder second is degree murder, mur- though. murder is murder. Third degree murder is usually like the um the ones that couldn't get manslaughter. But second degree murder is right in the middle. So you might have you might have gotten into a fight and didn't mean for the person to die. They fuck around and die, but you don't got a lawyer. Second degree murder. Let's just go with that. Second degree murder. Usually they'll be detained or something because like, uh, or it, or, it, or it could be because that sounds kind of like self defense, or, or what it could be kind of related to that. Say it's like this, you you fighting somebody right, you defending yourself, and then boom, before you get your gun out, your knife or anything like that, you're now in control of the situation. You got the person knocked out, he not waking up, and then from there you proceed to kill him. I think that would be more like a second degree murder. Like yeah, you became the aggressor, second? you became the aggressor. Like you got into okay. an altercation, is which led you to killing the dude, but you were no longer acting in self defense. I was more so thinking from and the bro, aspect. And I just spit it that ball. Boy, that shit just came from the dome. I, I was, just made that shit up, but it sound good. Bro. It, That's it the might law. be it. <laughs> we going don't worry, it's gonna be on the screen. They finna see. They like <laughs> one of them dumb as hell. Oh, yeah. I was thinking more of an aspect of comment down murder. below who's dumb. <laughs> you know, felony murder is like comment no is matter what's going on, it's a murder that was done in the middle of a felony like if you was to go buy some weed in an illegal uh, state and just so happened that the plug try to rob you and you boomed his ass with a legal firearm it's like damn boy right and you're wrong Why if you, you buy weed? if you wasn't buying weed no problem but because you buying weed it's a felony murder <laughs> that's what i was thinking second degree but either way somebody who did who might have been guilty of second degree no we're not gonna use that because we all know for sure burglary, yeah. burglary. somebody who somebody who, known for hide your kids hide your wife you got somebody breaking he kicking in those he jumping through windows motherfucking cat burglar no bullshit <laughs> he jumping through your windows taking everything in sight now he got locked up because he got caught doing it now he know he got a court date coming up and he need a lawyer do you think no the cash person, no cash bells no cash bells. That no shit cash crazy. bells. If you got a mama with a piece of furniture that still didn't give up on you, she put her house up. That was for bonds back in the day and shit like that. 
It might just be but that. Hold distant. on. It's like they purpose somebody's son or daughter must be locked up and they're trying to really help them out right now, is what it seems like. Cause you can even see the officer, like the ca- the captain that's reading this shit off the uh, video I saw, you can see he just like, yeah, you you, you can see he genuinely oh, pissed yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, I've seen it. But at the end of the day, he is an employee, so he has to abide by the laws. He, he just enforces them. And you can see how like dumb he thinks it, but obviously he'll get in a lot of trouble if he says I just don't that. understand. But I can see them standing up eventually because that shit wild. But then it's even then it's sense. even better because you 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 just because you can get out on some simple shit like that for committing some crazy ass crimes on this list, guess what? While you're out, you, they put you on an ankle monitor, whatever, or you're on house arrest, or you just in that like waiting to your next hearing, or whatever, waiting to be convicted. Say you violate your probation or violate your house arrest or whatever conditions for your release, and the cops got to come get you, right? It used to be you violate something, they can get you right away. Now, 48 hours, they can't do nothing until after 48 hours. And the motherfucker said somebody could be in Alaska by that time, so somebody could have got out burgling, right? They get That's out. Exactly they, they get what out. They, they, they exactly. Yeah, you know he wouldn't fuck with exactly. it. Exactly. They get out after just robbing some shit, kidnapping some shit, whatever. They get out on their no cash bond, and then they violate their probation. Hey, y'all need to come get him. Oh no, um, we'll come get him in forty eight hours, and he don't kidnap like fucking shit. I don't know how many people you can kidnap in a fucking day, but or two days. But I'm assuming his little crazy ass or her if y'all crazy are familiar ass. Familiar with the show, the first forty eight. Their whole thing is that the most evidence and the most uh, the most uh, effective they can be is in the first forty eight hours after the crime has been committed. So when you take shit was on purpose. When you taking this forty eight hours out. It's literally asking for, like, that's why they call it the purge thing. All the stuff on that list is crazy. Aggravated assault. I can go beat the shit out of you to the point where you damn near about to check out. They can't hold me until they come up with evidence, and I'm just going to tell them that you hit me first. And then these motherfuckers, trespassers. Say you got somebody, they said, uh, the dude, this is the example. Say you got somebody sleeping in your shed, staying in your shed. They just decide, like, Talking about earlier, callback, they just wanted, they don't want it. They've been broke. They they had a house. They lost their house. But now they see you got a house, so they're going to come take your house or come stay in your house with Squatters. you. Squatters. Right? They just come pull up. It's like, fuck it. We we here now. They trespassers, right? But you can't do nothing about it. Oh, you Hold on. I ain't going to say you can't do nothing about it. The cops can't do nothing about it, but give them a ticket. They can't remove them. But then this is what I like about what he said. He said, so, yep, you can see the disgust in his face. He's like, we can the only, the uh, the most we could do is uh, cite them with a ticket. Um, it's going to be up to you on how you deal with that and what level uh, you use. Mm-hmm. So pretty much hitting, kind of like I hope you kill these niggas. Like that's exactly in your crib. That's what, what I got from saying. that. I was hey, like, you better we kill not ass coming over there go deal with that. But if he on your land, you technically not in the wrong. Even though it could have been some shit where it's like this person was drunk, he didn't know where she was at, or this person might have had the wrong house, or they trying to look for you for a, a civil dispute or something. The cop gonna tell the people on the phone gonna tell you, man, we ain't nothing we can do about that. Bust his ass and hang up on you. Mm-hmm. And you And then when they come, when they come and they you know what I'm saying, they trying to piece together was it trespassing or did you just this dude was walking on the highway, you shot him and dragged him to the yard, whether you trying to stage or not, like are you making this up? They gonna be, I'm just saying that they were like we're investigating it, but they're going to be like, I mean, even if they, they try to say, like, you set this up and you purposely killed this dude, they try to pull that BS. Guess what? No cash bond. Your little second degree murder will say that second degree murder. You out. But, I mean, you tr- they somebody trespassing, to, you defending yourself. Now, I'm not saying you're going to They're going to have to bump your shit found. up to premeditated murder and give you the first degree just to hold you so they can That's make silly. sure they keep the streets clean. That sounds crazy as fuck. Going to somebody shed, you shriek. They literally tell you. <laughs> Man, you better, you got to take care of, I mean, it's always been the stand your ground, Second Amendment, I, I, all that I shit. I think that type of shit comes into is, play. Is they literally pushing you into it, like, yo. It should be, cop. it should be like cops shouldn't have to respond to some petty shit like a house party. Man, ask your neighbors to turn the music down. Like, go genuinely ask them nicely, hey, excuse, you don't got to go over there and be no dickhead. It's all about tact and all about hitting the stuff the right way. Go there and be like, hey, excuse me, not, not, not. I mean, we all know, we can assume how a lot of it's going to go for the most part, especially if you're like an old white woman, they're going to assume you being a Karen or Chad or Chris, but whatever what the dude the is. what neighbor that's an asshole? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, because you, you can come over there and somebody be like, oh, yeah. Like, if you're in a nice neighborhood, they could, and they could be like, oh, yeah, we got you. If it's some mature, you know, audience, uh, neighbors, whatever. But if it's some younger, some younger folks or whatever. A young Thundercat. Like yeah, that. right. And then you go over there and you be like, hey, can you turn it down? And you be like, and get then, on my face, you bitch ass nigga. Yeah. What you saying? Shit. <laughs> 
as no no not you i'm saying as the person that is he don't have guns so that's why that one's also important we talking about somebody trespassing and they telling you buses that if you don't got guns and there's somebody on your your fucking property that you feel like all right he about to cause me danger and the cops saying and ain't nothing we could do about it be there in 48 <laughs> You'll be on the next episode. <laughs> what, what what happens to them? Because there are people who don't support like the use of firearms or yeah, that shit, man. This pacifist and shit. <laughs> this pacifist and all type of shit. People who don't want to get into that type of stuff. Shit. What do you tell them? Do you tell them figure it the fuck out? Do you tell them to stop the violence and don't buy firearms? Or do you tell them I see you in two days? See ya. I want to be ya. 